compared to the great museums with their historical sequences and their comprehensive reviews of different racial cultures, what we offer is the simple pleasure of becoming at close range so familiar with a collection that is ever in the making that we seem to be participating in the exciting thematic contacts of old and new, traditional and experimental. Shortly before my father died in 1966, he left a set of instructions to his successors. It seems that he had this unusual open-mindedness of not wanting the museum to be a closed book. He always wanted new acquisitions to take place. We were always on the lookout for younger artists whose work seems to um, grow out of the favorites that are already here. I think one of the things one feels as one looks at the Phillips collection and uh, enjoys about it is precisely the disequilibrium in the number of works by this or that artist, which gives to the collection its personal and private character. It's not a giant collection. It's not a giant museum, thank God. But it's, it's a, it's a marvelously beautiful and, and exceptionally valuable uh, result of four, two pairs, of extraordinarily discerning eyes.